All right, hello, hello, everyone. Greetings, humans. <laughs> we happen to be on 428 Shibuya Scramble tonight uh, because Lemur couldn't make it tonight, uh, which actually kind of works out because we're at the epilogue. Um, <laughs> yeah, isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. I did. So, uh, yeah. our recap. Uh, thanks to Minorikawa for getting to tell the wandering angels about their dry ice machine, uh, Kano and Achi were able to save Shibuya from the bomb that Alfred put in Palmer's briefcase. But now Stanley and Tatano have to deal with Alfred guilt tripping the ladder about shooting her, and Osawa still needs to save Maria before Alfred can blow up the lab or shoot him. Place your bets yeah. on who it was that showed, it, that showed up at the end of Stanley's route looking for Alfred. <laughs> Everyone ever. <laughs> and uh, my money's on it being Ayakamiki, who is the real canon all along. I knew it. I mean, yeah. wasn't the friendships that we made the real canon all the, all along? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that how all that works? <laughs> uh, will we be doing the bonus routes after the epilogue? That is a good question. Um, I believe I asked you that a couple streams ago. Well, I guess after a couple streams ago. Um, are we doing the bonuses? Yeah, we can. All right. So that's a yes. Um, I I would I will point out really quick. I have not done all of the bonuses. I've only done a couple of them uh, because when Lemur and I went through this the first time, I was mm -hmm. the only one reading, and by the time that we finished this, I was so ready to be over. Um, <laughs> no. Like I've come off of some of these streams going, "Wow, I talked a lot during that," and then multiply that by two because I was the only one talking. Because um, uh, Lemur and I didn't even uh, call at that point. Um, <laughs> oh no! That's even worse. Uh, yeah, so like I'd go to work and I'd be like completely out of uh, voice just because I'd talked so much on the stream the night before. Um, it was really great. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll do some bonus routes um, and we'll see what are in those. That should be fun. Um, shall we head to the epilogue? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kanan's friend. Let's see what happens. Yeah, girl. <laughs> she felt a hand firmly clutching her own as she hazily returned to consciousness. This hand. Whose is it? My father's? Maria's eyelids slowly drifted open. Maria, you're all right now. Her father was indeed beside her, holding her hand. A surprising warmth, a surprising warmth radi radiated from his slender, boning palm. Dad? She was lying on a sofa. She craned her neck to look around, still trying to process what was going on. There were several monitors set up around the room. Where are we? At my laboratory. You were infected with a virus, but I've given you the antiviral. You don't have anything to worry about. He squeezed Madia's hand even more tightly. That hurts. Ah. Uh. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Osawa eased up on the pressure on his daughter's hand, but he didn't let go entirely. This feels so strange, Madia muttered, staring up at the ceiling. I wonder why. Well, you had a virus and it was about to, like, eat you alive. So. And also yeah. we gave you an experimental drug that at least now we know has gone through human testing. Um... <laughs> Like, damn, yeah, you having a day. <laughs> uh, what does? Having you hold my hand. Wow, I feel like the worst father. <laughs> we already established he is not really uh, a great father. Yeah, father of the year, y'all. Um, I used to hold your hand like this when we'd go on walks together. When you were little. I doubt you remember that, though. It didn't happen very often. So. Maria considered. It was true, she didn't have any clear memory of her father holding her hand like this. And yet, the touch of her father's palm felt distantly familiar. Gently, she squeezed back. It's been a while, hasn't it? She said. I mean, me looking you in the eye while I'm talking to you? Family bonding time, don't know what that is, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's only because I didn't look at you in the eye. Osawa hung his head. 
I learned how to do that today. <laughs> he, he's working on himself. <laughs> we love a man who does some uh, self uh, uh, improvement here. Yup. I'm so sorry. He said. Please forgive me. I, I never meant to hurt you like I did. W wait, hold on. Maria was taken aback. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean, hurt me? Oh, whoop. Uh, <laughs> uh, back on that rainy day. <laughs> Osawa told Maria about the day she'd run away from home. About he'd known, about how he'd known where she had gone, but hadn't gone to find her. About how he'd given in to his anger and struck her once she came back home. When he finished, he hung his head once more. I'm sorry. I've been such a terrible father. Maria cracked an impish smile. Oh, you yeah. said it, not me! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I guess that did happen. Osawa frowned. You know, she said, I'd totally forgotten about that. Until you mentioned it just now, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I can't believe that. Osawa replied. The way I hurt you, I, I mean, unless you got amnesia or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded so disappointed in himself. Dad, it's not like I can let myself dwell on each and every detail of my childhood. I mean, in the 19 or so years I've been alive, I've been hurt in lots of different ways. A child experienced so much more than what her parents knew. That was what growing up was all about. It was a happy thing, but also a little bit sad. Osawa was visibly grappling with his, with his feelings. Uh, I see. He said. Human interaction. Yes, I guess you have gone through so much pain. Well, yeah, but there have been more things that were fun and happy. I see. It's the sum of all those things that have made me who I am today. So please, don't worry so much about the past. Can you define fun and happy? <laughs> I don't know what those mean. I have an IQ of a billion, but like, what Literally. is that? <laughs> I see. Dad... You keep saying I see. Stop it. I see? Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's just... Th this is all so difficult to say. Osawa was trying and failing to hold back his tears. Maria wasn't quite sure what those <laughs> tears were for, but she felt a prickle of embarrassment. He doesn't know how to interact with his own daughter. That's yeah. sad. Shyly, she looked away and her eyes alighted on one of the monitors. The screen showed a view from outside of the lab. Who are those people? She asked, pointing. Osawa looked and his eyes widened in shock. Three people with guns were facing off with one another. Well, shit. Maria recognized one of them. Tateno, the man with the cane. What? Oh, that's you. <laughs> oh, why are those two pointing guns at your friend? Osawa's voice was shaking. My friend? What do you mean? The one you met when we went to the Middle East? You know, Kanan. Osawa switched the monitor to show a different camera angle. A close-up of the young woman's face appeared on screen. Maria was at a loss for words. That certainly wasn't Kanan. It was the girl who'd come to tell Maria that Hitomi was going to be kidnapped. Kanan's friend. It had happened That's... three days earlier. <laughs> That's... While Maria was on her way home from campus, a girl approached her, telling her she was a friend of Kanan's. Kanan <laughs> asked me to pass along a message, wink wong. She said. Then she showed Maria a video recording. The video quality was quite poor, and the voice indistinct. There's a terrorist who's after the antiviral agent your dad is developing. Maria listened in shock as the message continued. The terrorist's plan was already in motion, and he told me he had been infected with a killer virus. Your father used the antiviral to save Hitomi, but the terrorist planned on that. I'll spare you the details, but there's a way to extract the antiviral from Hitomi's blood. Stealing the drug from the laboratory directly is too problematic. The terrorist intends to get it directly from your sister. Hitomi is certainly to be kidnapped sometime in the next few days, and so I have something to ask of you. I'd like you to get kidnapped in her place, <laughs> since you're twins. Wow, this is sketchy. It's just, <laughs> wow, when you say it like that. Yeah. 
should be possible for you two to trade places without the kidnappers realizing it. You know, like the parent trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except much more violent, and yeah. it's not guaranteed you'll live. <laughs> I gave the girl who's passing along this message a necklace. I fitted with a small GPS beacon. Make sure you wear the necklace, switch it on, and it'll allow you to keep tabs on your location. Um, uh, me, sorry. <laughs> I promise I'll come and rescue you. Please help me. This is the only way we can keep the antiviral and Hitomi safe. Yeah, I don't buy that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's how sketchy as well. Yeah! The video ended, and the girl handed Madia a necklace with an ornate pendant and showed her the hidden switch on the back. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. I would, I would like that. <laughs> Kanan's coming to Japan? Madia asked. He's already here. <laughs> She's ready to risk her life for this mission. Risk her life? Madia started uneasily. So, this terrorist who's after the antiviral drug, is it Alfred? The girl looked shocked. You know about Alfred? Kanan told me that taking down Alfred is her purpose in life, but... Uh, but? But Alfred has ties to the CIA, so it's hard for Kanan to get any good leads. That's true. Which reminds me, you should have this. The girl held out a photograph. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time I look, it makes me laugh. Because it's Stanley. Um, <laughs> this man is dangerous. Stay away from him. He's an ally of Alfred. Bullshit! He is not an ally of Alfred. We've been in he this man's head. He wants to kill him! <laughs> Maria did her best to burn the man's image into her mind. Alright. The girl said. Passed along everything Kanan wanted me to tell you. What you do next is up to you. Okay, Alfred. <laughs> So, wait, what the heck has been going on while I've been asleep? Girl. Yeah. Osawa <laughs> recoiled from the ferocity on his daughter's Bitch. face. <laughs> uh, that Kanan girl thought of a way to save you. He went on to explain the plan to get the antiviral out of the lockdown laboratory. Once again, Maria stared at the monitor. As she eyed Kanan's friend, another memory from before she'd blacked out drifted to the surface. Oh no. Oh no! Suddenly, it dawned on Maria what this girl was planning. She pretended to be Kanan in order to get into the lab, she said, scowling at the image on the monitor. Osawa looked at the screen and then at his daughter's face. Well then, who in the world is she? Maria already had the answer. There was no doubt about it. That girl was Alfred. I love how Maria has figured it out mm -hmm. within five minutes of being conscious and having her memories back. Um. <laughs> Meanwhile, Osawa over there like, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the instant she realized this, she knew they were in danger. If Alfred managed to infiltrate the lab, there was no way she'd be satisfied with simply getting her hands on the antiviral. She sewed ruin everywhere she went. Is something wrong? Osawa asked uneasily. Maria, what is it? Maria's mind was racing. She spoke her thoughts out loud. She's going to kill you so the drug can't be recreated. N no, that's not thorough enough. She's going to destroy this whole facility. But how? Vague possibilities tumbled through her mind, but she couldn't be sure what the terrorist might be planning. She gritted her teeth in frustration. Don't worry, Osawa said. I don't know who that girl is, but right now she's outside the lab. There's no way she can kill me or plant a bomb in here or anything. Yeah, I know. Maria well, she gave... already did it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maria gave a tiny nod, but something gnawed at the back of her mind. Make sure you wear the necklace. No. Hurriedly, Maria took hold of the pendant that hung around her neck. As soon as she did, she felt a chill run up her spine. That is the bomb. She went back over the details of Alfred's plan as her father had explained it. And then finally, she understood. 
I've got it. Osama straightened up. You got what? I need Mail? to get out there where those three are. Uh oh, don't be absurd. I have to go. Osawa peered closely at his daughter's face. Words weren't going to stop her, and as he realized that, his own face stiffened with determination. All right. Now I'm going with you. I can't let you rush into danger all by yourself, even though there's three people with guns out there. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Maria tried to get up from the sofa, but she was struck by a wave of, ver of vertigo and her knees buckled. Damn it! <laughs> Are you alright? Osawa caught her by the arm. Hmm. That's probably a side effect of the antiviral. You shouldn't push yourself too much. Maria looked up at her father's anxious face and shook her head. Don't worry, I'll be okay. <laughs> also, I need you to, like, help me out. It's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's a good thing you wanted to come. Um, <laughs> Make sure the necklace doesn't hear any Ayakamiki songs. Exactly. Oh no, he's right there. He could <laughs> sing at any moment. Stop him. <sighs> her body was weak with lethargy, her mind trapped in a disorienting haze. Every step was a monumental effort. But she clenched her jaw and forced herself onward, making her way down the laboratory hallway. A whirlwind of anger and sadness spurred her onward. Alfred was masquerading as Kanan. The cruel truth was all too clear. The terrorist would never have been able to get away with the deception if Kanan were still alive. Which means that Kanan must be... Maria fought to hold back her tears. It was too early to cry just yet. That could wait until after she'd put a stop to Alfred's plan. Using her rage to suppress her sorrow, she shoved open the door in front of her. Damn. That the isn't Kanan! The only brain cells is, is Maria and really. Stanley. Unfortunately, <laughs> she's running out here with all these people that already know that isn't Kanan. Um. Right. <laughs> They're like, um, girl, you woke up too damn yeah. late. <laughs> Maria's voice exploded into the silence of the standoff. Uh... I doubt we're getting better testimony than that, Stanley said, his gun still at the ready. There's no way talking your way out of things this time. The expression on Alfred's face didn't change. She stood still, a mannequin without a soul. What did you do to Kanan? Maria demanded, marching unsteadily towards the terrorist. Maria, stay back! Osawa exclaimed. <laughs> she ignored him. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> hey! <sighs> Don't get any closer. Thought they barked. He looked exhausted, on the verge of collapse. Yeah, he just had a moment. It's fine. Um. Yeah, um, it's fine. <laughs> Answer me! Maria cried, still advancing. What happened to Kanan? But still, Run Alfred said bit. nothing. <laughs> Stanley, too, began edging toward her. It doesn't matter what you ask, he said. She won't tell you anything. Bit by bit, he inched closer. He was going to try to take her down. Let me turn your question around, Alfred said abruptly. What do you think? Maria paused, confused. What do I think about what? What do you think happened to Kanan? The corners of her lips twisted up, shaping a mirthless smile. You killed her, didn't you? Maria's words came out as a whisper. What was that? I couldn't quite hear you. You killed Kanan, didn't you? This time, Maria cried out with biting fury. Alfred snickered. She's provoking me, Maria thought, forcing herself to swallow her rage. She couldn't let herself get caught up in Alfred's game or her anger would spill out of control. Why are you laughing? By force of will, Maria made her voice firm and steady. Because I'm guessing you weren't expecting me to show up here. Alfred raised an eyebrow ever so slightly. This thing here, it's a bomb, isn't it? Maria held out the necklace. What? Stanley furrowed his brow. Oh, no, of course. Even if we managed to catch you here, you'd still be able to destroy the lab. Still, Bitch. the smile remained on Alfred's face. She seemed to enjoy watching the others figure out her intentions. But you can't trigger the bomb with me to standing this close to you, can you? Maria locked eyes with Alfred. Unless you're prepared to sacrifice yourself? 
She stood like an image of bravery, while the inside, her apprehension threatened to tear her apart. She could feel her heart thudding so furiously that she thought it might explode. Cold sweat trickled down her spine. Only her rage at Kanan's mur murder kept her from backing down. Go ahead and blow yourself up if that's what you want, she said. But you'll die with nothing. Your death will mean nothing. But not mine. My death will avenge Kanan's. Ooh. Silence fell outside the laboratory gates. You tell him, girl. Actually, why didn't nobody shoot during this interaction? <laughs> Details. Uh, Stanley and Tateno stood frozen, their guns still trained on Alfred. Both men were ready to pull the trigger at the slightest provocation. Just how long had they been there, staring one another down? The passage of time seemed to slow, seconds drawn into hours. Osawa swallowed audibly. Finally, Alfred t tossed her gun onto the pavement and held up both hands in surrender. Stanley wasted no time stringing forward to secure her. He gave her a thorough pat down from behind. He removed a small device that looked like a detonator from one of her pockets. On your knees. Alfred did as she was told. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stanley. Alfred. Alshua. My name is Jack Stanley. You killed my brother. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> Yeah. Good. Now hands behind your head. Try anything funny and I will shoot. Without a word, Alfred placed her hands on the back of her head, fingers laced together. What are you playing at? Stanley growled, growled disdainfully. Finally realized you can only push your luck so far? She responded with a faint snicker. It's not my policy to resist when things are hopeless. Her tone was detached, her intentions unreadable. Good. That'll make this easy. Stanley kept the barrel of his gun pointed at Alfred's head. This is for my brother. The words hung in his throat, unspoken. A surge of emotion coursed through him. Just a tiny bit more pressure from his index finger, and he could put a bullet right through Alfred's head. His long journey would finally reach its conclusion. Although he had wished for this moment more than anything, his finger did not move. If he pulled the trigger now, would that truly be the end? His mind reeled at the implications. Tateno watched Stanley closely, eventually letting out a tiny sigh of relief. They were in this together after all. Now they just needed to be careful not to let down their guard. He kept one eye on Alfred as he went to pick up the gun she discarded. But he was too late. Damn it! The gun was gone. The fuck? This is for Kanan! Oh, shit. Maria had lunged forward, snatching up the gun. What do you know? Osawa cried. What are you thinking? You'll go to prison. She ignored her father, taking aim at Alfred's forehead. Kanan's dead. And you're gonna pay. The smoldering rage she'd fought, she'd fought to hold back blazed with renewed fury. Maria. Stanley said calmly. Down the gun. I know it's tempting, but put down the gun. He had nothing but words to stop her. There was no telling what Alfred might do if he took his gun off her. W what will this accomplish? He asked, keeping his tone as level as possible. Maria's face remained awash with anger. Maria! Her father pleaded. Don't do this! Tateno took a step forward. Go on. Hand me the gun. He said. I'll do it. Stay back! Maria's arm trembled as she aimed the gun. Everyone stood frozen, not even daring to breathe. The slightest wrong move might bring disaster. The silence roared. I don't care, Alfred sneered. If you want to shoot, then shoot. You do want revenge on Kanan, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Maria tightened her grip on the gun. Memories of her friend drifted through her mind. To Maria, born into peace, meeting Kanan had been like touching a world beyond her own. A far more complicated world. Kanan had blood on her hands from the time she was a little girl. A walking contradiction of cruelty and childishness. And yet, she had lived her life according to her own unshakable beliefs. Meeting her had made Maria think hard about her own identity. 
What did it mean to be Japanese? No, that wasn't the question. What did it mean to be Maria Osawa? That was the crux of it all. They had been able to find common ground despite differing ideals because both possessed an unshakable sense of self. The tense equilibrium came crashing down as Maria let out a shout. This is for Kanan! She pulled the trigger, but her oh, shot went wide, shit. shattering the window of a nearby car. The sudden gunshot caught Stanley off guard. Alfred didn't miss her opening. She rolled swiftly across the pavement, drawing the small pistol she'd hidden in an ankle holster. Maria hastily tried to aim for a second shot. Oh no! Dad? Osawa collapsed at Maria's feet. Dad! Her father went limp. So I think now he gets to win the Father of the Year award? Um, yeah, what the fuck? Stanley dived at Alfred. He grabbed hold of her right wrist, the one clutching the gun, and slammed her head down hard against the pavement. She made no attempt to resist. In a moment, he had subdued her. Yeah. You're not hurt, are you? Osawa croaked feebly as his daughter gathered him up in her arms. I'm fine. But, Dad, you... You're... Blood was gushing through Osawa's shirt. Maria pressed her hand against the wound, but the bleeding wouldn't stop. Look, just hurry. Just get here as fast as you can. Tatano was on his cell phone calling for an ambulance. I know there's a traffic jam. Just figure something out, please. His voice was ragged with desperation. Dad, hang in there. Large tears streamed from Maria's eyes. Uh, this is what it's... Osawa lay with his head in his daughter's lap, struggling to rasp out his words. I thought it just reacted before I had any time to think. I finally understand what a virus must feel. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> really? You're... Mm, and are you alive? If you still think about virus? <sighs> his eyes were hollow. My fascination virus research. Dad, try not to talk right now. Maria squeezed her father's hand. Almost imperceptibly, he squeezed back. Once a nerd, always a nerd, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lifetime nerd, YOLO. Probably isn't a very interesting story. He said. But I like for you both to hear it anyway. Even though the other one's not here. I, I know. And we will. After this, I promise we will. Maria's words brought a contented smile to Osawa's face. I'm glad. So glad. It's alright, just don't talk right now. This time, at least, I was there for you. Osawa slowly shut his eyes. Oh, ma'am. Dad? Maria said, but her father didn't answer. Dad, d don't die! You can't die! Some bullshit. <laughs> the sound of ambulance sirens wailed in the distance. Maria clutched her father's hand, trying to make her grip firm and reassuring, just as his had been back, had been for her back inside the laboratory. Mm -hmm. Please, don't die. She repeated the words inwardly over and over and over. Oh, uh, why didn't this Stanley shoot? <laughs> Damn. A black car of foreign make arrived at the laboratory and pulled up to the curb. Stanley's superior, Gordon, emerged from the back. A few of his men followed and promptly placed Alfred in handcuffs. Well done. Gordon said. <laughs> Stanley gave him a slight nod. I'll be taking Alfred back to headquarters. You can finish up here. Understood, sir. Gordon shoved Alfred into the back seat and slid him alongside her, and the car drove off. Takes <laughs> I don't like considering the fact that we know that Alfred has ties in the CIA. That she's not going to be 
Yeah. Caught for a long Stan- time. <laughs> it's like Stanley and Alford both work with the CIA, so they probably don't want him yeah. to shoot her, but screw the CIA! <laughs> yeah. Uh, who is that just now? Thought the no ask Stanley. Hi, boss. Sorry. We'll be taking Alford into custody. You will, huh? Thatano frowned, but decided not to press the point. I... Hello, sus, but okay. <laughs> the ambulance arrived at last, and Osawa was loaded inside. Maria remained at his side, still weeping, still softly calling out to him. He could sense her there, though her voice sounded awfully far away. Is this the end, then? He was vaguely aware that he was dying, but he was not afraid. At the end of a hazy tunnel, he could still see Maria. My, she had grown. She had grown so very much. If he were an organism that multiplied by dividing itself, oh my God. <laughs> he would die knowing that he had left his best selves behind. He had only one wish now, that Maria and Hitomi would go on to lead happy lives. Oh man, you haven't even met Hitomi's new boyfriend, like, sir. <laughs> oh shit, you would have a field day, sir. <sighs> His vision was growing steadily more dim. Tiny motes of light flickered and wavered faintly before his eyes. It looked a lot like the very first time he had ever peered through a microscope. And that was enough for him. <laughs> I love him. Wow. Unexpectedly, Maria's cell phone rang in Stanley's pocket. He'd meant to give it back to her, but the ambulance had already departed. The phone continued to ring for some time, but eventually fell into a death-like silence. Is that cell phone safe? <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been in play the entire time because it's been in that warehouse, so... True, true bestie. Two seconds. Achi held his breath. He could no longer feel the seconds ticking by. The numbers on the display were changing more and more slowly, but still he watched in fear. Two. It was impossible not to fixate on the countdown. Oh my god, I'm scared. Two. 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 Kano and Achi continued to stare at the timer. Fucking two. Two. It had stopped. The timer had actually stopped. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Achi dropped to his knees with a cry of triumph. The rest of the Shibuya scramble burst into tears. We are the champions, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> you are one reckless guy, you know that? Kano held his hand out. Achi grinned up at him. That makes two of us. YOLO. YOLO team. The two clasped hands firmly, their handshake conveying more than any words could have. Thank you, random teenager, that I met today. <laughs> Achi! Susumu came rushing over. Man, you did it, man. I knew you could do it. The two bumped fists. Oh, I weren't just me, Achi said. Could have never done it without you guys' help. Susumu oh. smiled bashfully. You know. Look, they can be besties again. I love this. Um, right. <laughs> hey, right. Susumu, take care of SOS for me. You got it. Susumu looked him squarely in the eye. Achi gave a little nod, and the two solemnly bumped fists again. La 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 la. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a blinding flash. Achi spun Whoa. around to see Chiaki <laughs> standing there, beaming happily, her digital camera ready for another shot. Meanwhile, he's in the background like, yo, yeah. time's up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so miserable. <laughs> hey, everyone. Everyone gather up. Minorikawa called out to Achi and his pals. Selfie. <laughs> you guys are the heroes of Shibuya. Ooh. Photo time, everyone. Chiaki said, get ready. The young men struck a pose together. Wait, her too. Wait. Oh, that's Minorikawa. Oh, oh. That's, is it? Oh. Wait, her too. <laughs> Minorikawa ushered Hitomi over to stand with Achi. Hitomi. Now Achi s- Yeah. Achi <laughs> stared at her shyly. It was all thanks to Hitomi that he'd been able to do what he had done. Keeping Shibuya safe, keeping his promise to Suzune, Hitomi had been his inspiration for it all. 
There were so many things he wanted to say, but he couldn't get the right words out. He told me his cheeks were damp with tears because she just, like, scared the hell out of him. Out of her. <laughs> hey now, little lady. You know what I called. <laughs> no crying now, you look kind of weird in the picture. Come on, show us a smile. He struck a goofy pose beside Jackie. At last, the smile returned to Tommy's face. I should have been. Yeah. It really is the best. He told me looked up at Achi in confusion. Your smile, he said. It's the best. I don't care what anyone else says. He spoke so earnestly that he told me couldn't help but smile even more. God, Achi. <laughs> He's still in the back like <laughs> He's like, can I go home yet? Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's like, what did I just win? <sighs> okay. Here we go, people. Get your best faces on. At Minorikawa's signal, everyone let out a joyous victory cry. Ooh. Yay! Yay! Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Look at that person in the back doing like. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, come on, guys. Susumu shouted. Just lift Dachi up where everyone can see him. Because his leg busted as fuck. I know. <laughs> the members of SOS let out another roar. Huh? N no, you don't gotta do that, guys. Hey, cut it out! But Achi had already been swallowed by the enthusiastic throng. <laughs> fuck your leg! Even more! You can't talk. You This is so anime. <laughs> There in the Don't middle drop of... him. Yep, yeah, really. Uh, there in the middle of the scramble, Achi was being hailed as a hero. Kano looked on with a satisfied smile. What they had achieved together was nothing less than a miracle. It had taken a lot of luck and more than a few coincidences for them to stop the bomb. You think? Coincidences? Kano think... muttered to himself. Nah, that wasn't right. This was something different altogether. Fate. That's what it was. And not just one person's fate. The destinies of several people had collided, gathering momentum until coincidence became inevitability, and Shibuya was saved. Thanks to the Powerpuff No. <laughs> Thanks to us. Um, <laughs> oh, damn it. The Rosh's crowd tossed Achi high into the air again and again. As a plainclothes detective, Kano would probably never be showered with adulation quite like that. That was alright. A detective's duty was to ensure the safety of the people. He didn't put his life on the line so that he could be a hero. Just seeing all those smiles, that was good enough for him. How do you Steve? Kano only needed the approval of one person, and that was Numi. Mmm. Numi. I hope she managed to get out of Shibuya okay. Suddenly worried, Kano pulled out his cell phone. There were a whole bunch of things he wanted to tell her. He couldn't share the whole story, police rules wouldn't allow it, but he wanted to let her know as much as he could. That the kidnapping case had been resolved safely, for instance. That he'd learned about the tortured past of the detective he so admired. <laughs> that his partner was going to pull through. That he'd managed to finally talk to her father. <laughs> that was the most important. Exactly. That he'd put his life on the line to save Shibuya from danger. Numi would listen quietly to the very end, and then, Kano thought, he knew just what she'd say. Short and sweet, in that oh, gentle sorry, voice bro. of hers. <laughs> Good job. Oh. She's so good mm -hmm. and wholesome. And now we can become a farmer without saying the words of bad end in front Exactly! <laughs> And we have completed the game! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh my god, Jack Stanley's name was actually Jack. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's amazing. Oh my god, look at the babies go. I know. Look at them go. 
Oh just God. think about how we started and where we ended. <laughs> that was a lot. I love that Daisuke Endo is also the name of the criminal that murdered uh, mm-hmm. Kotone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think that that is still the funniest uh, um, yep. coincidence. Uh, <laughs> Put himself in the game. Damn. I see you. I see you, man. Damn. And wow. everyone, please uh, enjoy the uh, audio of Ayakamiki. <laughs> just, just savor it. Reel it in. This time, when you hear it, there's no bomb, so you're safe. Like, really appreciate that fact. Oh my god, <laughs> Katayama. I love Katayama. <laughs> My bomb plan may have been foiled, but I'll still expect you to finish the gossip magazine by the deadline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Very important. Yeah. Remember guys, always be punctual. Even if the city's about to go into mass chaos, mm-hmm. still gotta be punctual. And if in doubt, keep a banana in your pocket. Yeah, you'll confuse the enemy. <laughs> you really will. Damn. So, yeah, Osawa's dead, isn't he? Well, we'll find out. I know that there are at least two endings. Um, I don't know which one we've gotten yet. I will find out, because I'm pretty sure that there is a scene after this. Um, Uh, Wait, depending on what you did, you get whatever ending? Yeah, so um, one of the endings, the, the good ending... Uh, requires you to have been merciful, if I remember correctly. Mm. There's like two different um, uh, options you can do, um, and I think that there are both in Tateno and Jack's uh, routes, um, mm-hmm. where you have to choose mercy ending. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> Lamar and I got to the ending and went, "Well, oh, this doesn't seem right." Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, merciful in what way? Like, every time there was the violence involved, like, you said, nah, bitch? No, so, remember, uh, that Tateno and, um, and Jack Stanley don't have any, like, real action scenes, uh, minus Tateno's standoff. Um, so every time you think of, um, Alfred, basically, I guess, if I remember correctly, there's two different options that you have. Um, about, you know, what are you, you know, when you get to Alfred, what will you do? Um, Mm -hmm. and if I remember correctly, I know that we got Stanley's wrong. Um, Mm. damn it, Stanley. Well, if I remember correctly, you said, you know, like his brother was dead, so fuck him. Yeah. Bitch doesn't know what he's talking about. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's dead. He was indeed dead. Um. <laughs> Gordon and Alfred sat in the back seat as the car sped along the highway. Here. Gordon tossed the handcuff key onto the seat beside him. What happened down at the scramble? Alfred asked, picking up the key and unlocking the cuffs. Leland Palmer was arrested by the Japanese police, and the bomb in the briefcase was defused, apparently. Still, Palmer shouldn't pose a problem once we get him into CIA custody. I see. Much obliged. You really got yourself backed into a corner, though, didn't you? Gordon said. Yeah. I was only able to accomplish half of what I intended. Half? Alfred produced a vial from her pocket. It was filled with red liquid. Is that Hitomi's blood? Gordon asked. Indeed. I managed to acquire the antiviral. But when? Gordon peered at her in bewilderment. I became a fly. (laughs) No. When I blew up the minivan. In the dim light of the vehicle, Alfred's eyes shone darkly like those of a wounded animal. 
Extracting the blood from Hitomi while she was unconscious had been a simple matter. Saving the girl's life had been more than just a means of ensuring her trust. Alfred had been looking for the right moment to carry out the extraction. Total secrecy was essential. If it became public knowledge that the drug existed, and that some of it had been stolen, the value of the Wa virus would plummet. Our primary objective here was to destroy that research facility. Still, getting our hands on the antiviral is better than nothing. Well done as always, Alfred. Gordon's hard expression softened, but Alfred was in no mood to return his smile. If Mario Osawa had remained inside of the facility, her plan would have succeeded. Everything up until that point had gone off without a hitch. The one thing Alfred hadn't anticipated was Mario bringing the bomb outside. She had injected Mario with a knockout drug back at Endo Electronics that should have kept her from moving around for a while, even after she'd regained consciousness. And in any case, she wouldn't have expected the girl to just march into the midst of an armed standoff. Damn it. She had been certain that Mario would never leave the lab. She had misjudged how strong the girl's feelings for Kanan were. Mario's body had been put into a state of torpor, there were a bunch of people pointed guns at each other, and still she had been undeterred. Alfred's plan had changed on Mario's relationship with Kanan, and ironically, that same relationship had made the, pl the plan fall apart. It was true that she'd accomplished half of her goals, but Alfred still couldn't shake her sense of failure. She softly bit her lip as she gazed out through the car window. The bright windows of a few buildings shone out in the midst of the otherwise darkened city. Damn the CIA! <laughs> a group of tiny lights that refused to be washed out by the darkness. The end. No! <laughs> <laughs> now you know why Lemur and I saw that and went, Absolutely uh -uh. <laughs> fucking no! Okay, so let me see where we went wrong really quick. <laughs> Alfred underestimated the power of love. Exactly. That's her girlfriend. Right, bitch. Well, how could you? Okay. Alright, we got our white bookmark. Ooh, what's that? So if I remember correctly, the white bookmark just signifies that we've gotten one of the endings. Oh. Yay! Do, 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 do. Okay, endings, here we go. Tsusune! Where's that gold on it? You'll find a match soon. I want to be a strong person. Please be happy for me. Heartbeat! Mm. Of spring. Cute. Oh my god, did she get a boyfriend in the hospital? Alright, so we got our Susan name preview added to our bonus content. Alright, do we want to get all of the endings? Or do we just want to get the, uh... The good ending? Looks like Wait. there are... One, two, three, four endings total. So wait, what ending did we get? Was that a bad ending? That's considered the normal ending. Hmm. Normal ending. Okay. But I don't like it. <laughs> so you can see that we have new bonus content. I don't want Alfred to not go to jail. Alright, so let's load it up. Shall we get the next ending? Yeah! Alright, so... Ooh. Give me a second, I have a bonus. What's my bonus? Oh, is that the Susan A chapter? No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, it is. So we also have one more to unlock, it looks like. Um, okay, so... It better be... The, the powerful... Katayama ending. <laughs> Did he ever get his damn copy? <laughs> Never know. <clears throat> okay, is this 9 10? That's 9 o'clock. 9 10. That's 9 5. <laughs> 9 10. Okay, so we have like, what selected happens B. to Stanley if he does shoot Kanan? Like, 
Does he lose his job? Like. Alright, so this one we are going to choose C. C se puede. <laughs> okay, so. Instead, we're going to say if I do get my revenge, what would Frank think? Sure. When Stanley what? pictured his younger brother, it wasn't with a smile on his face. The realization gave him pause. <coughs> In the end, killing Alfred wouldn't bring his brother back. That went without saying. But although he could see now that revenge was an absurd bull, his heart still turned deep and dark with resentment. Yeah. Okay. Same. Bro. Alright. Then, Achi, 1900. Mm -hmm. Okay, must be this one. We need to see. See what I meant by all the mercy endings? Oh, oh mercy! <laughs> I right. hate it. I, I have to set it. aside my hatred. Right now, I just need to focus on catching this guy. Because we do. Wow, I was really violent looking back. <laughs> Damn. I think there's some Mr. Clean ending. <laughs> there is a Mr. Clean ending. Oh my god. Alright, let's see if that was enough to change the epilogue. No, I need to keep going. Come on, where's the save? Volcano. I hate how many times we died just trying to do this one thing, damn. Alright, come on, where's the save? Yeah, where is it? It's, da -da -da -da. it's high. Or was I looking down during it? Okay, there's the save. Okay. And I oh. select epilogue confrontation. Okay, let's see if this worked. Cannon, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to guess it did not work. Give me a second. What did you do to Kanan? Lots of shit. Lots of shit going on. What happened to Kanan? I won't tell you anything. What do you think happened to Kanan? You killed her. Mm -hmm. Killed Cannon. Everything hurts. The world hurts. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Got a bomb. It's a pretty looking bomb, not gonna it lie. It is a very <laughs> pretty looking bomb. Still a bomb, though. Still a bomb, yeah, I, uh, I gotta say. Whoever made that necklace, though, props to you, props department. Uh -huh. Props to the props department. Ooh. I know. I will say, like, I've seen a couple of visual novels now that use, uh, um, like, real things like this. Um, but this is probably the best one that I've seen so far. Holla. Alright. The gun is now in play. Oh, snap! Do I get an option now? What you playing at? Just wants to shoot Stanley, her. just shoot. I know it's not ideal, <laughs> but just shoot, damn it. So Stanley doesn't shoot, which is good. Okay. Maria's gonna pick up the gun. This is Cannon's dead. You're gonna pay.
Mania, don't do this. Give me the gun. Stay back. Come on, just give me the option. Can't enter entire world. It's fine. And we never got to see the actual Keenan's face. Kinda rude. <laughs> what did it mean to be Maria Osawa? Although it does look like a wig, so. It does. It looks hella like a wig. Just saying. Oh, no. We're just gonna shoot. Okay, oh, of course so you. did I miss one? Okay, Tateno. Nine. Do I have the wrong one for Tateno? Mm. I mean, it There should be B. Mm. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Mm. Um, I don't want to pull this trigger if I don't have to. Not that you don't want to pull that. You can't. But what? You, you have trauma. Um <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> She's a master manipulator, it's kind of scary. So I'd like to point out, uh, we chose none of the merciful endings. Um. <laughs> yeah, we were like really hella violent because we were on our guard. Like, bitch, what if she shoots first, like then we die? And it's like, our guard was up as fuck the entire time. We had no freaking, like... A patient. Yeah, we were like, you know what? Like, screw him. Um, literally, be like, someone shoot. Literally, yeah, just, someone, just someone shoot. Shoot. And the one someone who did missed. How could you miss? It was three feet in front of you. All right, here we go. Confrontation. One. <clears throat> Things have changed. That isn't canon. And now we get to go through this again! <laughs> What'd you do to Kanan? No offense, but why is, it, why is the CIA using children? You know what I mean? That's hella sus. Uh, I mean, Nobody gonna talk about that? <laughs> I, I think that we uh, have all sort of accepted that the CIA does some sus shit. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out there. What um, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you killed Cannon! Angie. Now we we very angry, but we're not gonna shoot this time. Cause we're saying mercy. Mm -hmm. For the first time in this entire game, I'm pretty sure. Um you mean <laughs> Blow us up, bitch. <laughs> oh, wait up. Woo! All the windows stand. My death is going to avenge Kanan's. It's not actually, but you know, like. It's funny you think that, but. It's cute. Um. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Come on, put the damn gun down. This, uh, game did need a skip function. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it really did. Mm -hmm. I think, wait, Tiggy Williams was like 11 or 12 when she played Alford here? Really? Hmm. 11 or 12? She don't look 12 or 11. She I mean, does she not. Could, she could be taller than she appears. Like, I know some children who are taller than me, <laughs> but I am literally a flea, so... <laughs> Compared to them. So, uh, that's not a very good comparison. <laughs> Alright. Stanley did not shoot. Maria's gonna pick up the gun still. This is for Kanan. Maria had lunged forward. Ozawa's was like, please don't become a murderer. Kanan's dead, you're gonna pay. 
What's this gonna accomplish? Gun, stay back. Shoot, bitch. I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. Gonna, like, have that nice thing of cannon again. Nice aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Very aesthetic. aesthetic shot. Very nice. Yes, we stand. Mm -hmm. What if they got one of the twins to wear a wig? Like, that's <laughs> kind of what it looks like. Right? I'm not gonna I'm, lie. I'm like, save the budget. Don't hire it. I know the actress. Just put her in a weave. Okay, so now we get to make a choice. We're going to choose. We're not gonna shoot her because we know what happens if we do shoot her. Um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, Damn it. Oh well. Madia's no. anger dissipated like smoke in a sudden wind. The tension seeped from her body and she carefully lowered the gun. What's the matter? Alfred smirked. Why won't you shoot? Her eyes blazed with contempt for Maria's naivety. No. I'm not being naive, Maria told herself. Do unto others as they have done to you. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. What does this recurring pattern of retribution really accomplish? It's just an endless cycle of hatred. That's why I'm not going to fight. Because I'm not like Kanan. Tears flooded from her eyes. I'm not like Kanan. But people who are different can still be friends. And I'm going to honor our friendship by not taking revenge. No matter what happens, I'm not going to hurt anyone, Maria said. Maybe that's not very realistic, but this is my fight, and I'll fight the way that I choose. She wiped away her tears. For the first time, Maria felt that she understood Kanan. If she'd been able to see her just one more time, she would have been able to speak her mind without fear. I could show Kanan the true me, and maybe then we would be friends for real. But that wasn't going to happen. Not anymore. Maria handed the gun to Tatano, then looked up at the nighttime sky. In the distance, she could faintly hear the sound of police sirens. Not one star could be seen in the sky over Shibuya. Yeah. A black car of foreign make arrived at the laboratory and pulled up to the curb. Stanley Superior Gordon emerged from the back. A few of his men followed and promptly placed Alfred in handcuffs. Well done, Gordon said. Stanley gave him a slight nod. I'll be taking Alfred back to headquarters. Not. You can finish up here. Understood, sir. But you're not. So. Gordon shoved Fire. Alfred into the back seat and slid in alongside her, and the car drove off. Tina's ghost. Bad move, Maria. Please avenge me. Kimberly. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um. Who was that just now? Tateno asked Stanley. My boss, sorry, but we'll be taking Alfred into custody. You will, huh? Hmm? Tateno Still frowned, so. but decided not to press the point. They'd put a stop to Alfred's plan, and they had saved Maria's life. That was enough for him. Maybe it even began to atone for what he'd done to Hitomi. Kano, Suzune, Kotone... Tateno pictured all of their faces. Perhaps in the end, he'd managed to become worthy of their respect. You go, boy. It's all over. Stanley spoke <sighs> under his breath, his gaze locked on the car taking Alfred away. The black cloud that hung over his heart had yet to lift. But he knew that today was the day he could finally put revenge aside. No longer would memories of his brother bring only sorrow. about that? <laughs> uh, 
This'll do, huh, Frank? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Abruptly, Mario's <laughs> cell phone rang in Stanley's pocket. Beep boop. That's right. I meant to give this back to you. He handed the phone to Maria. I wonder who's calling. Maria picked up. Hopefully, I a comic key. She could hardly believe it when she heard the voice on the line. Brusque yet girlish, with a daredevil ring. A voice that had been burned into her mind since the day she met its owner. No, it can't be. She'd been sure she'd never hear that voice again. In an instant, Maria's face was damp with tears of joy. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness! Kanan! Oh, snap. Maria couldn't hold back her sobs. The tears kept coming and coming. She had never. Oh my god, four to eight. <laughs> she had never wept with, with joy like this in her life. Two. Two. Now she held his breath. Okay, we're gonna skip by some of this. Oh, so the same actress did play both twins. I wanted. Like, I figured we were going to have to see the uh, credits again, so I was going to watch next time, but uh, <laughs> I, I figured the, the Yeah, they. I, I mean, they look the same. So. Yeah. Oh my god, that range, though. You go, girl. We have our two major protagonists who get to have their handshake. La -la 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 -la. Do the Baymax one, it's the best. <laughs> The cutest. <laughs> Katayama needs a I, I love Katayama. Um. <laughs> I need a whole game just about him going to people's appointments and being like, bitch. Yeah. And then all of the appointments are exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> and it just gets ever more chaotic as you go along in the game. I would play the <laughs> shit out of that. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Someone fund this, please. <laughs> Let's start a Kickstarter. I know we need to get a Kickstarter. 429 Katayama screen. There we go. <laughs> the day after <laughs> all his problems began. I'm gonna keep throwing Achi up. Hopefully, no one drops him. Yeah, Poor Lin can't okay. uh, deal Literally, with Literally, his leg is broken or some shit. Like, yeah. And y'all throwing him in the air. Like, damn. This boy gonna go to the hospital. <laughs> Shit. And Kano gets to have their, his whole thing about, wow, it's almost like fate brought us all together in this. No, it was us pressing some buttons and saying, go this way, exactly. go that Exactly. <laughs> fate is a weird thing to call me. Uh, I have a name, but you know. <laughs> yeah, guys. Say her name, God. <laughs> Rude. I know. But we gotta call it Numi. Yay, the Bay! The Bay. Bay. She never gets to, like, sing in front of us, though. That's sad. Mm -hmm. We mean... know it's you. <laughs> we know it's you, Aya. Just don't want to say it. Like, my favorite thing is just how long we thought that she was fictional until she finally showed up on screen. <laughs> When are they gonna reveal that she's Aya Kamiki? Damn! Uh, Numi? Hello? There was no response. Did they have a bad connection? Hello? Numi, are you there? Can you hear me? Look, the case is closed now. If you're still somewhere close to Shibuya, I'd love to see you if I can. You want to see me, huh? Oh wait, that's him. The, the father, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. You wanna see me, huh? Don't you have a mountain of paperwork you should be doing first? The gruff voice was she was. Oh! Yeah. Uh, well, you see, father, I... Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was... I had to... I told you not to call me that. Shizuo barked so loudly over the phone that Kano's ear rang. 
R right, no, of course. And y yes, uh, I'll do my job. I just wanted to check and make sure that Numi was all right. Don't call me daddy, that's weird. <laughs> Looks like I misjudged you. Maybe you are the kind of guy who'll blow off work to go meet a girl. <laughs> Dad, hey! Kano heard Numi's voice cry out with exasperation. Come on, let me have my phone! But Daddy, I <laughs> <Yeah>. love him. <laughs> exactly. He has two brain cells. <laughs> they yeah. sort of rub together this time and, you know, we got like a coherent thought, but it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I, I know that work is important, sir. Kano said hurriedly, but Numi is even more important to me. He felt his panic rising. After all that had happened, he didn't want Shizuo to end with a bad impression. Oh, be quiet. If you want to see Rumi, you can do it once you finish your work. Well, but I'm not sure when that's gonna be. I waited on you today a lot longer than I wanted. So, at this point, I don't care how long it takes you. Wait, what is this accent? We can't wait all night if we have to. She's all let out a peculiar sigh. Ah. That's a sigh. <laughs> Very peculiar. <laughs> oh. And then you and I can talk again about rumor. <laughs> huh? Before Kano could again. be sure he'd heard that right, she's all hung up. Huh? Bye. What? It's not like I like you, Baka. <laughs> he stared at the phone, his mind reeling. And then he was hit with a veritable explosion of joy. Yes! Oh my god. Kano leapt into the air and shouted with delight, his voice echoing through the Shibuya streets. Did a high school musical jump, y'all. He, he made it. Very he made important. it. He made it. He saved Osawa, so now Pretty Honey will not be alone in I Ireland. know! Yay! Yay, besties! Once the crowd had put Achi back down on his feet, he rushed over to Hitomi. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Hitomi... Yes? He told me, there's so much stuff I want to talk to you about. So many things I want to tell you. He gazed into her face. But Susan A, he didn't know how to continue. He told me smiled warmly. She understood. Ah, <sighs> even though this beautiful music is playing in the background, <laughs> it's very romantic. <laughs> Go on, Achi. Go see your sister. There's still somebody here in, tr in trouble that you need to rescue now. Thank you. I better get going then. S see you, Suzune. Okay. <laughs> Achi broke away from, from his circle of friends and headed out of the Shibuya scramble. Strangely enough, his legs didn't hurt too much now. Hmm, I wonder why. Despite all that had happened, he felt invigorated, as if he was just waking to a brand new day. Achi! He told me called after him. I will see you again, won't I? Achi nodded vigorously. Of course! Just come to Shibuya! You'll find me! I, you got my number! <laughs> <laughs> He'd been born and raised in Shibuya, but after today, he left the place more than ever. Everything is here. Right. Right. Okay. Right. There it is. Achi, oh, so about that second date. Yeah. <laughs> Can we count this, you know, like today is a first date? Should we count today as a first date? <laughs> right. Do we want to? <laughs> hmm. Is it wrong to pick up girls during a major kidnapping spa virus? Details. Um, Details. Well, how long? How long would that anime title be? <laughs> like, is it wrong to pick up girls in like ten billion words after that? Yeah, is it wrong to pick up girls during a uh, hostage handoff that turned into a? Uh, assassination attempt that turned into a terrorist plot that turned into like six bombings <laughs> <laughs> or is that awkward <laughs> is how you end it exactly um <laughs> well it just writes itself Damn. nobody would be able to abbreviate that when they talked about it to their friends though <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> you just have like this 
16 <laughs> acronym long. <laughs> like, oh, did you cast a new episode of, uh, you know what, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what, I'm <laughs> not. <A> Prindle. <laughs> Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, um, <laughs> Never will make it to top 10 of the uh, anime of the season. Yeah. <laughs> okay. an anime list. <laughs> okay, so that's Kanan. I wonder if I need to do... Must be kind of weird playing both the twins and then Kanan with a weave. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was her. It it kind of looked like it. I won't lie. Um. Okay, so um, I think we can do the mean clean ending, and then we will end for tonight. And next stream, uh, we can do the Susan A ending, um, the ending that we are about to unlock after this one um and uh maybe start doing some of the bonus content hmm. mm -hmm. that sounds good to me. sounds good yeah there's like a huge pop quiz um <laughs> There's a pop quiz? There is a pop quiz in the bonus, and I forgot about it until I was looking at this guide. Um. <laughs> and you can tell that this is the uh, true end name because we get to see literally everyone in this. Uh. <laughs> I do want to also give a shout out to the localizers on this um, because they did a fantastic job for what they had. Um, right. In like the year that it came out. You know? It was like quite a long time ago. Yeah, this, so this originally came out quite a while ago and this is a full remaster. Um, Alright. Hotel, <laughs> Gordon and Alfred sat in the back seat as the car sped along the highway. Here. Gordon tossed the handcuff key onto the seat beside him. What happened down at the scramble? Alfred asked, picking up the key and unlocking her cups. Leland Palmer was arrested by the Japanese police, and the bomb in the briefcase was defused, apparently. Still, Palmer shouldn't pose a problem once we get him into CIA custody. I see. Much obliged. You really got yourself backed into a corner, though, didn't you? Gordon said. Yeah. I was only able to accomplish half of what I intended. Half? Alfred produced a vial from her pocket. It was filled with red liquid. Is that... Hitomi's blood? Gordon asked. Indeed. I managed to acquire the antiviral. But when? Gordon peered at her in bewilderment. It's a secret. <laughs> but don't tell the secret police. <laughs> when I blew up the minivan. In the dim light of the vehicle, Alfred's eyes shone darkly like those of a wounded animal. Extracting the blood from Hitomi while she was unconscious had been a simple matter. Saving the girl's life had been more than just a means of ensuring her trust. Uh, we won at the right moment. Total secrecy. Uh, value of the wall virus would plummet. Primary objective was to destroy the research facility. Well done as always. But it's not well done as always. I have my doubt, but it, it, it wasn't good enough. But good enough. All right, now we got some new shit. Hmm. Mm. Hello. I will. And it's police people, and it's them. <laughs> I feel like the CIA shouldn't be quite so obvious, but you know, like. Oh, yeah, the man in black! Yeah, I mean, like. La 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 la! Righto, righto! Anyone else has that in the back of their head right now? <laughs> Not me, just me? Okay. <laughs> That's what's playing in my mind right now, just Will Smith. Oh? 
Oh? Why are you stopping? Are you that mad at yourself? <laughs> Damn. What the? Oh shit. Is that the real Kanan? Yeah. Let's see. Oh wait, or maybe it's her, but with a wig. <laughs> it's probably her with a wig. What? Right. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> It's literally, it just adds to the confusion. <laughs> the fuck? No! All, right, All we see is the back of someone's weave. And, and we and got we the cannon in it, or the uh, black book marker. <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alford was an alien. What? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hotel Shibuya, yes. Okay, so. Oh. oh my god, it's damn anime! It's the anime! Oh my god! Oh no, I need to rewatch the anime. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I didn't know they put the Amine in here. <laughs> like, damn. I mean, from what I've heard, and I have not seen the anime, so um, I can't say anything. Um, but uh, I have heard that uh, the anime is um, a continuation of this. So mm. I don't know if it has anything to do with anything. Um, right. It was right. very well animated, though. Also, though. <laughs> I think they have better wigs than that. What happened? You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so now we have a Kanan. Uh... And it's animated. Yep, and it's animated. Uh, but, uh, let's do our meet and clean ending. Alright, so, uh, time chart. Way back at the beginning. Okay, so we want... No. We want Archie at 1530. The actress who played Kanan in live action was Cindy Johnson, not whoever played Hitomi and Mari. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. 15.30. But, Cindy, we never saw your face. So, like, how do we know it's you? <laughs> Hitomi approaches the van. Option Prove yourself, B. Cindy. If that's even your real name. <laughs> So, we're gonna say he told me wait. Oh, wait. Okay, and I am looking for a jump here or somewhere. Grab me at the door. Just a moment. Foil. And now we know that this is when uh, Alfred takes out, takes out, takes for blood. Tommy, wake up. You okay, you hurt. Fish, y'all making me relive this shit again? <laughs> Damn. So that, I cry! <laughs> so that we can get an ending called clean. Um, right. A clean ending? Really? Really, though? Really? Mm -hmm. right. How about her sister?
Got the outline of body. Alfard. Yeah, it is yeah. her. Yes, <laughs> little piece to notice. <sighs> I said y'all can notice her. Jory's well... headed. So did they risk getting blown up just then? Like, I mean, remember, like, canonly, they mentioned that uh, Alfred does a lot of uh, risky shit. Um. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what did I miss? Do, 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 do. I think I managed to calm down. Mm. I just need to talk about her shirt. Mm hmm. They really should have a skip function. Yeah, thing. I know. I mean, granted, I do need to actually read this so that I can see where it is. Um, but. Mm. It's too bad that Tanaka dies no matter what ending we get. Poor eye. Yeah. Yeah. She just wanna have to live with herself. Yeah. Really sucks. <clears throat> hmm. Overall, though, it was a very entertaining uh, game for sure. A lot of twists and mm -hmm. turns. Some I didn't see coming, and I was like, "Damn." Good. Damn. I miss it. I generally thought that the British guy was going to be Paul. Um, was going to be uh, Wow! Alphard! <laughs> wow! I don't even know what character he's going to be at this point. Damn. Are you talking about Lehman Lynn Palmer? Yeah. He was not Alfred. He was part of it, though. He's fake Alphard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. not actually dying. The doctor just makes it sound worse than it is. Come on, Doc. Don't scare us like that. Dang. That's kind of rude. Did I miss it? Get up another uh, thing. Uh, Yanagashita was the real Alphard. He wanted to monopolize the antiviral so he could pay his debts and watch more pride fights. Okay, so I did somehow miss it in 1530. Sorry guys, we get to watch that again. Um, oh, you tip his shirt at the scene with Kanan. Mm -hmm. Apparently I just didn't read very well. Uh, oh, it's fine. Alright. Time to see the explosion again. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh 
Oh, shit, man. man. Okay, thunderous explosion. Roof. He told me. Holy shit. Mm hmm. Two failures. Tell me and Kanan. Tell me. <coughs> She's mm -hmm. like. Okay, there's red on her face. Mm hmm. Don't get involved with Alfred any further. Now go. Okay, thanks. I did not see that. So do I need... Maybe I need to do Kanan's and Kanan's rep first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe. Oh, it's available after completing Susan and Kanan's. <coughs> so, um... Oh, so damn. won't do that tonight. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just made you watch the explosion twice. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right. Hello, uh, JK. So next stream is Thursday, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific, like normal. Uh, we will probably be doing Phoenix Wright, um, and then Sunday we might come back to this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't got anything mm -hmm. else. Um, yeah. So have a good night, guys. Uh, wash your hands, wear a mask, get vaccinated if you can, um, make good choices, and we'll see you guys in a couple days. Yeah, Have bye. a good night. Bye. bye.